Hey everyone, today we're going to replace the light switch. Let's take a look at what tools we're going to need. You're going to need your wire strippers, your 6-in-1 screwdriver, always your trusty tester of electricity, some electrical tape, your switch, circuit breaker finder, and an attachment to the finder to hook up to your switch. So, first of all, we get to take it all apart. Remember when doing this, the power is on right now. So it's going to be a careful operation here. But as long as you're careful, everything's going to be fine. Okay, with a switch there are two hot wires and that is all. Be very careful, always touch just up here, never grab the side. Grab these top two, spin them to the side and expose the two hot wires. Now we're going to take our transmitter that we had utilized with the outlet before to plug in, plug it into here. Hook them on here. When they are both hooked on, the light will show. And now we can take our circuit breaker finder out to the panel to find out what breaker we have to shut off for this light. Okay, now you get your circuit breaker finder. About keep it about three feet away from your circuit panel and turn it on you hear a little chirp and now we'll go over to the panel then bring it from three feet away up to your panel and run it down do it a couple times there it is that's the one right there that is the light switch now we'll shut this one down All right, now. All right, looks like we got the right one. The power is off. So let's disconnect. Before you go touching anything, verify by this. Okay, that's powered up, holding it so it's making contact. And just check, make sure everything's dead in here. We're good. Now we're safe to go to work. Let's start by removing wires. And the ground. The ground's seen better days. Okay, here, what size you looks like? Looks like 16. There we go. There we go, that's beautiful. Grab the loop, make a little horseshoe. And 
hook up the ground so that it wraps around your screw. So as you tighten it down, it actually pulls itself in instead of trying to push it out. And make it pretty dang tight. Now as far as these two, it doesn't matter which way you hook them on, okay, because you're just completing a circuit with this switch. Let's go ahead and bend a better loop in this. So they look nice and are easy to work with. Once again, wrapping it around so it pulls itself into the screw. Pretty good torque. You want these connections to always be good. There we go. Push all your electrical back up into the box. Make sure it says on and off not, no, and foo. Put your outlet, or your light switch. This is not an outlet. This is a light switch. Back in place. Oh, hold on, hold on. One safety thing to always do is to put your electrical tape over your connections just for future safety from someone that didn't watch my videos and watch someone else's that told them to grab it from the side. There we go, now we're nice and safe. So they just touch the drywall, blink like that on top and bottom, and then just a little bit tighter so that you can't wiggle it from side to side. Then we'll get our cover plate. Switch over our six and one. Tighten these up and make sure your screws are straight up and down. That's the way to make it look professional. Just like that. Okay, let's go out and turn on that breaker. Okay, now we're going to switch that breaker back on. And we'll go check our light. Alright, verify we're working. Hey, we have light. Alright, you have just installed a switch. 